Friends, uh, I am in a little hurry because uh, Parliament is functioning nowadays for a change. <laughs> I, being a minister, and that too, being a former Parliament Affairs Minister, I cannot afford to be absent from the Parliament for long. Otherwise, I would have allowed to be with you people with this great company for some more time. Uh, I was so much impressed and moved by the photography exhibition, the great uh, artistic work done by many talented people across the country. I am particularly happy and I would like to congratulate all the winners on this occasion and my special regard, regards go to Sri Raghurai for a lifetime of contribution in this field. I don't know whether he remembers, I was a small fry at that time. My first uh, occasion to meet him was in 1984 when uh, Mr. N.T. Ramarao, late N.T. Ramarao, the great uh, actor, he was dismissed from the Chief Minister's post by a governor called as Mr. Ramlal in a most unceremonious manner and installed a puppet as the Chief Minister at that time. I don't want to take his name. This is a good evening. I don't want to take such names also. Yeah. And then uh, he, he had majority. He has undergone a heart operation in America. He came back. By the time he landed in India, he was dismissed. And the other puppet has been installed. So I was in opposition. I was not a part of that party. It was Tirugu Desam party. But we all joined together to protect democracy and thus protest against the autocracy. And then organized big campaign. All people across the country, they all came to Hyderabad. We collected together. All the MLS joined together. We went to Karnataka to take asylum for some time because there was harassment in Hyderabad. Then we brought all the 164 MLS to Delhi to parade them in front of Rastrapati Bhavan. Agnani Jail Singh was the president at that time. He was very kind enough, in spite of our indications from above, not to meet us. He agreed to meet us, and then um, we all went and met him. But meanwhile, someone told me from Rastrapati Bhavan, Mr. Naidu, you are all 164 MLS are you are parading here, but some of you are in Hyderabad being paraded before governor. I was surprised. We are all here. How can some of us be paraded in Hyderabad? Literally, I don't know what to do. Then from Rastrapati Bhavan, I contacted Advani ji at that time. And Advani ji told me, do one thing. Whoever is being paraded in Hyderabad, if you can get the names and segregate them and separate them and take a photograph of the people along with Inti Ramarao in front of Rastrapati Bhavan and send it to Hyderabad. So then we, Advani ji suggested that we should contact Raghurai, who was famous by that time, and then he was kind enough to come to Rastrapati Bhavan and take a photograph of those MLAs who are supposed to have been paraded before the governor in Hyderabad, dubious MLAs, the original MLAs in Delhi. Asali Delhi me, Nakiri Hyderabad me. So he came and took the photograph along with N.T. Ramarao. He was holding a stick. He was not well those days. And then that photo, those days, this, uh, what you call this transmission, automatic transmission, nothing was there. So you have to send it physically. So we requested someone who was going by the flight, evening flight, and we requested Indian Express Agent of Hyderabad, and also Ramoji Rao, the Inadu, uh, to little, uh, what do you call, delay their editions. Nowadays, even you give it at 12.30, also they can print. That time, this opportunity was not there. Then we sent these photographs to Hyderabad. Next day, front page of the story is original in Delhi, duplicate in Hyderabad, <laughs> along with the photos. So there was, there was no need to prove also. I remember those uh, 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 great days and uh, the Raghurai is, is the best selection for a lifetime um, of contribution in this field. I compliment the jury for making a proper decision. Friends, uh, the, I would like to say one thing. A picture is worth a thousand words without explaining. The picture explains itself. That is the greatness of this art. That is the greatness of this photography. The present world of fast paced with real-time communication, photos are one of the best media of expression and information with confirmation. Photo is an information with confirmation. 
all other things our generous friends they say sometimes i do this is the information i stop them by saying this is information without confirmation come on next question <laughs> next question so the but photo is an information with confirmation they form a means of artistic statement that provides insight into the thought and mental makeup of communication communicator in this case the photographer while while enabling them to transcend the limitations and boundaries of the linguistics of a written or spoken language photo speaks of all languages indian languages or even foreign languages also there is no such barrier linguistic barrier it is often said that when you ask the people what positions they would rescue from their burning house one of the most frequent answer is photograph album if there is some fire accident in our house the first thing you want to rescue is the photographic album because it's time it will always be remembered and then you can re re draw inspiration since the the time immemorial starting from the early pin holes cameras used in the 5th century bc to the most latest dslr high tech cameras of today the basic essence of photography is to freeze time has not changed it is to present an object a person or a landscape uh, as it stands in the current moment it is rightly said that there are no specific set of rules to take a good photograph a photographer is not bound by technique or theory she or he is free to interpret the capture the subject the way he likes this i must say makes it a complex occupation and it is imperative to have the right amalgamation of art angle and uh, aperture to capture and process the pictures which only comes through years of practice i sincerely compliment the professional photographers present here and also appreciate the amateur photographers who have not taken the help of the rule book or technical theory to produce such beautiful uh, pictures i believe photography at its best is a powerful language which uh, speaks to our emotions it allows us to tell the story and show others our fr our framing of the world around us it is only through photography that we have been able to imagine our past our history and our bygone era through images captured related to events and personalities photographs are indeed a part of our legacy just now raghuraj ji was mentioning about our culture our music our heritage and all i call it as a visual language for some of the most difficult emotions colors used in the photograph have the subtle power to express hope sorrow grief misery guilt happiness joy and uh, elation altering our mood at deep levels we can learn lessons about a whole range of emotions through a photograph in this context i would like to draw your attention to some of the instances where photography displayed the power to move us by grabbing our attention and speaking directly to our emotions thereby shaking our collective consciousness the photograph of a 3 year old dead syrian child washed ashore on a beach is an extraordinary powerful image that changed the entire world opinion on the refugee crisis another example is the photograph of the terrorist azmal kasab engaged in brutal gun battle during the carnage of 2611 attacks in mumbai that has aroused strong public sentiment against the scourge of terrorism in and around the world all these images strongly evoke deep reactions for more more powerful than any other medium of communication can produce such pictures can truly help rally a large number of people for a particular cause this is all boils down to how an image is captured and the skills used by the photographer in bringing out the right emotions through her photos that strike a chord with the audience photography can be used as a means to spread awareness and a channel of good governance our government under the visionary leadership of narendra modi has launched digital applications for several schemes the swachh bharat application the behavioral change the photography can also be a powerful instrument of social change the selfie with the daughters campaign was launched to motivate parents to feel proud of their daughters in a gender biased society this way a post posting photos with one of one daughters carried a powerful impact on social societal behavior and ingrained cultural traditions 
images and photos also help educate as many of us are visual learners whose memories contend more effectively if it happens to be image based photos are much more than a simple record photographs allow us to share and communicate and fulfill the social need and desire of humans to share and showcase what we find beautiful and interesting with others the internet has brought about the resurgence of the visual image to our everyday communication digital cameras and cell phones with integrated cameras have generated a, an explosion of images to everyone's lives photographs offer the benefit of instant and powerful communication especially when the people's ability to read and write is not up to the mark social media channels are full of people sharing photographs to communicate with others the maximum of today everything exists to end in a photograph that is the maximum today this is more apt today and photographs accompanying text always strengthens and augments the impact of your written words i keep saying that honorable prime minister modi has given a three word mantra he said reform perform and transform then i added let us inform because i am from the imb ministry the port photograph is an information with confirmation that way friends that shows how important is photographs are i would like to compliment photo division for organizing these awards on year on year basis photo division is a media unit of the ministry of imb meant for visual support for the varied activities of the government of india i am proud to say that it is the largest organization in the country in the production and storage of still photographs established in the year 1959 i am happy to note that the photo division has more than 10 lakh of negatives transparencies and how now in digital format right from the pre independence time and up to the present day which are of archival and historic value apart from documenting various activities of the central government division has built up an invaluable collection of photographs on different aspects of indian life culture flora and fauna social and industrial growth the main function of the division is to illustrate photographically the growth the development the social changes in the country i hope they would continue to uphold this cause for many more years to come i congratulate the lifetime achievement award winner sri raghurai one of the best known photograph photo journalist and a padma sri awardi in 72 the first time ever that a photographer was given padma sri in 1972 his passion for photography i'm told started in 1960s and continue, continues to this day he is happily engaged in recording contemporary india in all its beautiful facets and is an inspiration for all those who are associated with this he served on the jury for the world press photo and twice on the jury of unesco international photo contest this proves his provenness in the field uh, garnered over multiple years of experience i am glad to note that raghurai has specialized in extensive coverage of india he has produced more than 18 books including raghurai's delhi the six calcutta kazurao taj mahal tibet in exile india and the mother teresa this year theme of professional category was skilled india this all this felicitation is to give inspiration by just calling him onto the dais or giving him a memento or giving the other friends the amateur photographers also by memento or a certificate or even a cash reward is not going to make much difference to them but this 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 felicitation is meant for inspiration to the new generation that is the purpose of this program that's why today when we have this great people galaxy people among us including ragura and all they are a great inspiration to the amateur to the youngsters and to the new generation that they can also excel and they will also be complimented if they do good work that is the purpose of this inspiration friends i am very happy about it when i attend this function i recollect the memory of missing the photograph of my mother i lost my mother at the age of 1 year 3 months but unfortunately i could not have a photograph of my mother i always uh, uh, miss it and then i could not even imagine how my mother used to be people used to tell her tell me that she is 5 feet 7 and a half inches fair and very complex and very bright and all those things but i i always feel i miss something so for, you can understand the importance of a photography by my own experience also thank you very much namaskar jai hind